Now here's a little story I've got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in history with MCA, Ad Rock, and me, Chana D. What is up, YouTube? How are you doing? And that's right, I've got a story for you. I'm here in the living room once again. I've got my, uh, you know, self-quarantine clothing on. Nice glass of Ibiki. Mm, so let's talk about it, shall we? Let's talk about how I got screwed over trying to buy a Dolby Atmos demo disc on eBay. As you guys know, I do a lot of videos on Dolby Atmos. I'm sure if you go to you know the YouTube search bar and search Technodad and Dolby Atmos or Dolby Atmos setup, there'll be like hundreds of videos in the last, what, three and a half? No, no, three and three quarters, almost four years. Getting pretty close to that four year mark. Again, I uh, wanna thank you guys so much we got to 65k and if you guys have not signed up for the 65,000 subscriber giveaway uh, i'll put a link down in the description and a card up top and i'm giving away a pair of klipsch rp 600m domestically only what 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 are you doing my my dog's over here hey stop that the giveaway is domestic i will have an international giveaway in a couple weeks just trying to figure out exactly what that is because the issue is I don't live in a place where we have DHL. If we had DHL, I'd be like, sure, let me ship these speakers on over to you. But we don't. And the last few times I've tried to ship something, like I have tracking until it gets out of the country. Then I don't have tracking. So I have no idea if it even gets there. So, you know, should I spend 600 bucks on something and then send it, you know, spend another two, $300 to send it and then it never gets to you. Like that really just, you know, just not me not knowing is kind of like messed up. But anyway, we're talking about Dolby Atmos demo disc and why a demo disc? In a movie, Dolby Atmos is not really active for the most part, you know, unless it's a space movie. You know, Gravity was a good one. Um, the really bad movie, what was it, Jupiter Rising or something? Jupiter Ascending, the uh, Mila Kunis and uh, what's it, the Magic Mike guy? And my dog just starts eating. Thanks, thanks. It's not like I'm recording anything here. Go for it, Hendrix. Eat up, buddy. Eat up. Like, that wasn't the greatest movie, but it was in space. So they had all this, like, spaceships flying overhead. There's all this, like, aerial motion. And so the Atmos mix is fairly active in a movie like that. John Wick has, you know, the first one has a couple of great Atmos scenes. But that's what I'm talking about. It's just, like, one scene here, one scene there out of, like, a, you know, one and a half hour to two hour movie. So I like to have demo discs because you guys know I review a lot of AVRs. I review a lot of speaker systems. So I'll just put on these scenes from the demo disc that have Dolby Atmos content so I can make sure that everything sounds correct and you know the AVR is sending the right sounds to the right speakers. So back to the story. This happened all around summer of last year and I've been wanting to tell you guys and make this video but you know, other things just kind of popped up. I finally heard that there was a 2018 Dolby Atmos disc, and that's this one right here. Now this is a dual disc, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision disc that came out March of 2018. Now the interesting part about this disc is you have to have Dolby Vision. If you are just running a 4K player that doesn't support Dolby Vision, it won't even give you Dolby Atmos audio. Um, it'll show the demo, it'll run the demo like normal. It has words on the screen the entire demo, there's no audio, and it says you need Dolby Vision to run this demo. So literally if you don't have Dolby Vision, then you don't really need this disc. But for those of you that do have Dolby Vision, the like colors and the pop and the 3D, like this Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos demo disc is really awesome. As far as the Dolby Atmos portions of this disc, eh, not so great but the Dolby Vision parts of this disc are phenomenal. So if you have a Dolby Vision display, maybe a calibrated OLED or something like that, everything's gonna look really, really good. Okay, so let's get into why I have so many copies here on the table. Well, first I uh, ordered one and it came, this, was, this is the one that came, and a few red flags uh, you know, started going off in my head. First of all, this is a standard Blu-ray case. Uh, Dolby Vision is a HDR, um, so it would be 4K UHD, like this case. As you can see, it's black. This is blue, standard Blu-ray case, black 4K UHD case. So that was the first red flag I had. Then I opened it, immediately like looked at the bottom of the disc because I just had a feeling this was a burned copy. And I looked at it and sure enough, it was a burned copy. And 
I was like, hmm, how am I gonna tell this seller on eBay that he just sold me a burned copy when it said brand new? I mean, it was in shrink wrap, there's a label on it and all that, but it's still a burned disc. I put the disc into the Oppo UDP203, that's my reference player. So I go through the demos and what do I find? I find three demos that just do not work. One of them, you hit play and it just, it thinks and then it starts to play and then it just stops. Uh, the other one plays about seven to eight seconds and then it stops. And then one of the video game ones, I think the Resident Evil one, it plays, but it's all like out of sync and it stutters. Like the audio and video are out of sync and like there's some stuttering in the video and it's just messed up. So out of the demos on the disc, three of them do not work. And so I was like, okay, now I've got to contact the guy because I, oh, right. How much did I pay? I paid a hundred bucks for this thing. Yeah, I know. hundred bucks, hundred bucks. I know, I know, whatever. I had extra DJ money. So I was just like, okay, well, I want this. I've been looking for it forever. Here it is. Let's buy it. What could go wrong, right? So here we are. I contact the guy and you know, politely tell him, hey man, what's going on with this disc? Uh, three of the demos won't play. And it's clear to me that it's a burned disc. And he comes back to me. He's like, what? It's a burned disc? What are you talking about? And he said he gets the discs from someone who works at Dolby and it has shrink wrap on it and this, that, and the other. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, dude, you can get shrink wrap in a hair dryer and shrink wrap anything. And as far as it being a burned disc, he was like, I mean, how do you know it's a burned disc? And in my head, I'm like, it's raining burned discs over here. And so the guy's like, how can you tell? And I can easily tell because I've burned plenty of discs. I have burned discs, whatever. And I was like, well, it's easy. There's a barcode on the very interior plastic ring of a disc that's actually produced. Now, if you look closely, and you know, you move it around in the light, you can see the barcode. Can't see the barcode with this one. No barcode at all. Looks like a burned disc. And that's pretty much the situation. He comes back to me, he's like, all my demo discs don't have a barcode. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, cause they're all burned, buddy. Thanks. Like, right? Like, I, is he trying to bullshit a bullshitter? Like, what, what, what is he trying to do? Like, I, I, know, I know his game. Yeah, he's getting all the discs from Dolby. The guy just burns them puts on, you know, whatever, gets the stuff printed, shrink wraps it, sells it to him for 50. He goes, sells it on eBay for a hundred. Everybody's making money. But the problem is I'm not an idiot. So I want to make sure you guys know the difference between a burn disc and a legit disc. So what was his solution? He was going to send me another one. So that's when this one came and he also sent this one here. Now this one here is August 2018, which is a, just a standard Dolby Atmos disc, does not have Dolby Vision. So I was like, okay, cool. He threw in another Dolby Atmos demo disc, which I didn't even know this existed. Um, problem with this one, red flag, first one, blue case, right? Blue case, standard Blu-ray case. For Dolby Vision, not good. We need black case, 4K UHD case. So I put this one in and I straight away went to those three demos that didn't work. And guess what? All of them did not work in the exact same way. One of them played like seven, eight seconds, then stopped. One of them didn't play at all. And then the other one was all choppy and the audio and video did not sync. Now this leads me to believe that both of these copies were made from the same source disc. And whatever the case was, either the source disc had a scratch on it or the image file that was extracted from that source disc had some sort of error that they didn't seem to care about and then went ahead and burn these discs. Now, if you don't know what that is, you know, I've burned a lot of discs and to burn something like this, you would have to extract it and get an image file or an ISO file. And then from there, you can burn it onto whatever disc you wanted to burn it on. Now, clearly this is the situation that happened. Something's wrong with the source disc and they just made a bunch of copies and they're selling them on eBay for like a hundred bucks. And you're going to get a demo that has three, you know, parts of the demo that just don't work. So I was like, okay, I need to talk to this guy again. Um, but as far as this disc is concerned, this was a standard Blu-ray. This was a burned copy. I don't care if it's a burned copy as long as it works. Now this disc actually has a lot of cool demos. The 2018 August standard Blu-ray disc. It has a lot of great demos and it works. All of the demos work, but again, it is a burned disc. So I go back to the guy and I told him what happened and you know, what my thinking is for all this. And he's like, okay, man, I'm so sorry. Like, 
you know, I'll refund your money. I'm still waiting on that refund. So sometime around November, December, I went back to eBay to look for the Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos demo disc. And I found one in the black case. That's this one. Got it for $50. So much better. And all the demos worked. And it is a legit disc. So be careful. If you're looking for a Dolby Atmos demo disc or some demo material, definitely watch yourself on eBay. They will be shysty. If anything's coming from different countries, probably man, not really reliable. If you can get it from Dolby, cool. Let me know because I've been wanting to get some from Dolby is despite just going to a show because that also costs a ton of money and you know time off and travel and all this kind of stuff. That's my story, guys. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you found it interesting and I hope you found it eye-opening. So don't believe everything you see on the internet as being real, case in point. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time. <music>